I've been waiting for my husband to return from North Point for weeks. If something happened to him, I just don't know what I would do with myself. Nice of you to finally join us. Those damn Montclairs have locked me out of my own city. If any of my people have been hurt, I'll kill Montclair and his daughter with my bare hands. You know how to get things done. Join up with Scordo and help him find a way into the city. I'll keep the troops on alert and ready to move on your signal. North Point is an important trading center, with many House Dorel holdings. Whoever controls the city controls the northern region of Rivenspire. If I were oblivion bent on conquering the area, it's certainly what I would do. My son, Elec, was in charge while I was at Shornhelm. If he's still alive, he must be somewhere inside the city. Beyond that, the entire populace is loyal to House Dorel. But I have no idea what kind of forces Montclair set loose within my city. Reports indicate that Baron Montclair hasn't been seen in weeks. Though this mess has his fingerprints all over it. His daughter Larea, on the other hand, isn't afraid to show her face. We're assuming she's in command here. Prior to her mother's illness, she was a charming young woman. A real magic-using prodigy. Now it's like she's been replaced by a dark seducer. Men and women will do anything to please her. And she's shown a remarkable affection for extreme cruelty. I sent Scordo and a small group to establish a secure base among the farmhouses outside the city. He's supposed to find a way into North Point and then send us a signal. Since that hasn't happened yet, I assume he's still working on it. Countess Tamrith went with him. Against my better judgment, I might add. And that fancy knight Darien decided to tag along. He's gotten rather friendly with Scordo since he arrived. I hope they can slip inside or this is going to be a long siege. You walked into the wrong farmhouse, Montclair! Well, kiss a troll and call me Pumpkin. I know you from Shornhelm. Did Baron Dorel send you? I was the orc, in the cage. Not my most shining moment, but it's not like I'm a noble or anything. No matter, I'm just glad you're here. It's a disguise. What's wrong? Don't you like it? Is my helmet on crooked or something? We're going to sneak into North Point. Not usually my approach, but Countess Tamrith and Darien helped us get this far. No idea. He went to scout around and hasn't come back yet. So far we've learned the patrols outside the city consist of untrained fighters with orders to keep people away. Only the officers seem to know what's going on inside. I suggested busting a hole in the wall, but the Countess decided we should save that as a last resort. Darien went out to search while we took care of the farmers. They came to us for help, but you know how the Countess feels about refugees. Do your worst, lackey to a foreign crown! I won't tell you anything! Well, I guess that would be alright. I am a guard of the First Order, a member of the Blood Talon Cloaks of House Montclair. More than that, you won't get out of me. What part of I won't tell you anything didn't you understand? You can't get me to betray our beautiful Lady Larea. I obey her commands. I would even die for her. Now either kill me or leave me be. Why could that possibly matter? Really? Your beloved Countess would never stand for that. You're bluffing. You're the one? You killed Rizal Jewel? I'm just a guard. The officers know what's going on, but they never tell us anything. All I can tell you is they have a camp to the east, on the coast. If you want information, you have to talk to an officer. Can 
you believe it? The officers won't tell us a thing. We're not even allowed in the city. If you have a problem, what will happen to you? I saw her giving that new transfer a piece of her mind. I saw her. She dragged the poor guy into the officers' quarters. And I haven't seen either of them since. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Want a bite? Reconnaissance, but keep your voice down. No need to wake the good captain. And know what I learned? There's not a single guard in North Point. Not a one. Lorea ordered them to get out and to keep everyone away. Isn't that enough? I was fairly proud of that bit of espionage. But you're right, there's more. The good captain here lets slip that there's a smuggler's tunnel. Leads right into the heart of the city. It's our best option for getting inside. My, my, Sidarian. That was impressive. But when it comes to smugglers' tunnels, I think there's a thing or two I can teach you. I'm not sure how to respond to that. Why don't you find out what our vampire vixen is talking about? I must say, Darian certainly has a way with the ladies. That's not how I'd go about extracting information from the enemy but I can't fault his results. The old smuggler's tunnel should lead into the city, if we can get through it. Well, the smugglers who use the tunnels installed a gate. Gives them a monopoly on the black market at North Point. The tunnel will get us into the city, if we can get past the locked gate. The smuggler boss is a tough pirate. Goes by the name of Lagra. If anyone has a key, it's her. But the Montclairs attack any boats that approach the city. There are wrecks up and down the coast. If Lagra's still alive, that's where we'll find her. Don't worry about me. I'll throw on some armor and go with Gwendis. Put the old team back together.
What do you think you're doing on my ship? Do you know what I did to the last stowaway I found? Well, the last time I looked, my hold didn't lead into the city. Wait a moment. My key! If you're one of those Montclair bastards, I won't go down without a fight. Now give me back my key. Well, you're a tough one, aren't you? All right, we'll do it your way. I was coming back to get my key. I need to get into North Point myself, rescue my gang. Why should I let you have the key when I have my own needs to consider? At the moment, all I care about is the safety of my gang. They were inside when the city fell. But if this turns out to be a trick, Oblivion won't be big enough for you to hide in. The tunnel's in the cove. It will take you into the city. The tunnel is inside the cove beneath the lighthouse. That key will unlock the trap door. Come on. I'll take you to where the others are waiting. Unless you found something, hero. We could use some good news. I'm not interested in news. Just tell me you found a way to get us into those tunnels. Tell me you found something good, hero. It's not like the fate of Riven Spire is hanging in the balance or anything. Right then, let's go see what Lorea is doing in there. But brace yourself. I don't think we're gonna like what we find. North Point. It just feels empty. I sense life in there, but it's faint, barely perceptible. We need to be ready for anything. His Lordship, the Baron over there, wants us to head inside, see what's going on, and secure the area. He wants us to be slow and careful so as not to damage his precious city. Good job getting that key, by the way. Now let's go save North Point. I need to let Verandas know what's going on. In the meantime, talk to Scaldo. He knows the city like the back of his hand. So it's just us mortals from here on in? It's fine with me. I don't mind admitting that the idea of friendly vampires kind of creeps me out. North Point was my home for the last few years, so I know the place pretty well. Never snuck in through a smuggler's tunnel, though. That's gonna be a new experience. Just remember that we're part of House Montclair and things should go fine. We need to sneak in slowly, one at a time. Wandering around as a group would just be inviting trouble. The tunnel is supposed to lead through the lighthouse. We need to get inside and find a place we can use to get the lay of the land. Talk to Scordo. He has a plan. It's a bit crude, but it just might work. At least it has the advantage of being remarkably simple and easy to remember. I appreciate that in the plan. I find it hard to believe that Baron Dorel allowed a smuggler to dig a tunnel into his city, and right under his very nose. Still, it is our good fortune that this tunnel exists. The light truly shines on those who need it. I'm not sure how Montclair and his troops stand this armor. It's itchy and it smells like rotten mud crab meat.
protect the buildings. There has to be one we can use as a safe location. This should do nicely. Let's make sure it's clear. Go on. Go find the rest of our assault team. I'll have this place all cozy-like in no time. Because you're gonna go back out there and let them know where we are. And see if you can figure out where Lorea is hiding while you're at it. I'll get the place settled and make sure we don't attract any unwanted visitors. Watch your arse out there. I mean, did you see all the vampires and blood fiends? Well, you better hurry. We don't want to leave his lordship and her ladyship alone out there too long. It isn't safe. before he died. I think he tried to tell me something, but I couldn't make it out. Be on your guard. Here comes more of those monsters. usual occurrence. Oh, who am I kidding? This happens to me all the time. Can I assume the house you emerged from is our safe location? Of course it is. I'll just wander over and have a little lie down. It's all the same with you. woman wander alone through a city full of vampires and blood fiends what was Scordo thinking RK guides our way as usual are are they all like this the people of North Point did Lorea turn them all into these vile creatures may the light watch over them praise RK I can't believe that sweet Lorea would do something like this to our people. What could have driven her to such horrors? I'll head to the manor and meet you there. Gather the others and let's meet at the manor. We have plans to make and I fear our time grows short. The light preserve us. Alec, where can you be? Oh, there you... I thought my son might be hiding here, in his office. But all I found was his journal. You might as well have a look. Alec and I haven't always seen eye to eye. 
and he's made no effort to hide his feelings about me in his journal. He does mention the arrival of Lady Lorea, though. I'll tell you more when we gather with the others. No reason to repeat myself. Serene Manor. I know it well. Nice to see we finally found a good use for that pompous ass. I'll meet you there. We'll discuss the contents of my son's journal when the entire team is together. Try not to let the blood fiends suffer when you kill them. They were the citizens of North Point once. Your son didn't do a damn thing about it? Oh. Can't talk now. The pretty lady said it's sleepy time. Shh. Veranda sent me to help. He said he needed to do some more research. I swear the man's got his head buried in that old book he found in Locrata. But if it wasn't that, it'd be something else. He loves his research, that's for sure. The Baron was just filling us in on what was written in his son's journal. Spell or no, Elik has a lot to answer for. If he's even still alive. First, we need to find out if anyone survived Lorea's private party. The Countess heard noises coming from the inn. It's not much to go on, but at least it's a place to start looking. Part of me wants to find Lorea in there. Then we could put a blade through her and be done with this business. But I really hope the townsfolk have crowded in there and barricaded the doors. Either way, we need to get in there and see. So Darien accomplished something useful after all. Go upstairs and get that key. Let me think. Darien was scratched and battered. Claimed the blood fiends bit him, but the Countess didn't find a single bite mark on him. Guess he was mistaken. My own son. I can't believe it. He has placed a stain on the honor of House Doral that I may never be able to remove. Darian can't talk right now. I gave him something to relieve his pain, and to quiet him down for a little while. The man does love the sound of his own voice. The end of my staff. Right to the side of his head. Best way to quickly quiet a delirious soldier. He was making enough noise to give away our presence, and I was in no mood to fight a horde of those creatures. A key? Yes. He was holding on to it rather tightly. I had to pry it from his grip before I could tend to his injuries. Is it important? RK provides. Bless us all. I heard sounds coming from the inn as I made my way here. Now we can get inside and see what's in there. I hope it's the survivors of this terrible disaster. I'd hate to think that Lorea turned or killed them all. Go. I need to remain and tend to Darien. He claimed the blood fiends bit him, but I found nothing but bruises and shallow scratches on his body. I see no signs of the vampire's curse. But I want to watch him to make sure he's all right. I'm going with you to check on the inn. Scordo, when we give the signal, call in the army. his own people like this.
Let's check upstairs. Someone must have survived this nightmare. I see plenty of Montclair's monsters, but no survivors. Let's keep looking. Be silent. We don't want them to hear us. Whoever or whatever you may be, I advise you to go away and leave us alone. These people are under my protection and I will not allow you to harm them. I believe we are perfectly safe up here. Thank you all the same. Now go away. You have more than enough victims to suit your needs. I won't allow you to have any more. That's just what I'd expect one of Lorea's minions to say. Now leave us alone. You, in the attic. I am Allard, Baron of House Dorel. And I swear you will be safe in my hands. It's good to see you're still alive, my old friend. And you as well. But tell me, is Elec hiding up there? I'm sorry to say, but no. I left him at your manor. He insisted that he wanted to stay. Kariar is the blade master of House Dorel. He's a good man. See what he has to say about all this. It's good to see Baron Allard again. He's like a brother to me. It's been weeks since we last saw each other. I only wish this reunion was under better circumstances. When Lorea sealed the city and began turning people into blood fiends, I used my sword to cut a path to this inn and led as many as I could to safety. I was forced to kill friends who turned into monsters, but I was able to save some of our people. Quite a few, and there are more hiding around the city, protected by members of the North Point Guard. I gave the order myself as soon as I saw what Lorea was doing. I just wish Lord Ellick had been able to resist her as well. It started innocently enough. She had Lord Ellick call a gathering at the square. Then she addressed the crowd, saying how the blessing of Montclair would soon be upon us. That we would join her. Love her. Then people started turning all around us. A spell, perhaps? I'm not really sure. She made some strange gestures and spoke a few arcane words. Then it was as if a wave of power flowed out of her. People immediately began turning into blood fiends. But not everyone was affected by her blessing. Lady Larea has taken Dorel Manor as her own, but I have a key. Take it. Save as many of our people as you can. And be aware that Lord Elec is still with her. He was alive when I last saw him, but completely under Larea's influence. I'll give the signal. It's time to liberate North Point from these monsters. Meanwhile, go to my manor and evict Montclair's daughter from the premises, with extreme prejudice. Nobles have gathered. What an excellent party. Someone new. How exciting! Come up, come up! You must introduce yourself before you can join the festivities. Oh, I know you. You must be the one her beautiful ladyship has been expecting. You're just in time for our grand celebration. We're celebrating the new and better life that will soon be ours. Lady Lorea is going to honor us with her blessing, and then we will never die. Probably, but it's not what you think. We freely accepted the will of the beautiful Lady Lorea. She loves us, and we are devoted to her every wish and whim. My lady is upstairs. I'm sure she'd love to meet you. And when she tells you about her blessing, 
about the wonderful gifts she brings. I'm sure you'll fall in love with her just as I have, just as we all have. Friends, fellow nobles, the glorious blessing of Lady Lorea is almost upon us. Let us prepare ourselves to bask in her presence. you. Hmm. So you're the one who dispatched my father's pet Argonian. Well done, by the way. Well done. I'm so glad you're here. I was becoming dreadfully bored with Alec and the rest of these silly nobles. Isn't it fascinating? You want to strike me, but your weapon hangs loosely at your side. I wonder why that is. Oh, I know. It's because I will it. This is my world now. I feel your desire to please me, and I can use it to make you do as I wish. You believe the nobles are in danger? You want to save them? <laughs> How sweet. They love me. They have given themselves to me. Thanks to the remnant, I am their god. And now I also have you. The hero that Verandis presumed to use against my father and I. You're trying to resist me? Oh, what sport we shall have. But first, I have duties to perform. Come, join me downstairs. We must attend the celebration. Perhaps I'll even honor you with the first dance. Before you try to kill me. You need to resist her, my friend. So much to me already. So many devoted worshippers. So much blood. You must break so free of her spell before all is lost. And then. Just as in Locrata, Lorea has cast a veil. It hides her, protects her. You must find a way to enter the illusion. In the basement! I can feel slight imperfections in the spell down there. Just as at Lokrata, you can manipulate its power using a tear. You have entered the veil. Now find Lorea and finish this. As usual, Verandas once again ruins my fun. I guess I'll just have to destroy you now. Pity. But I can always get another pet. You hate me, don't you? Why does everyone hate me? See, they love me. They even share their life essences with me. I never wanted to I had hoped to save Lorea from this fate, or else I should have been the one to end her campaign. I'm sorry this unfortunate task fell to you. Lorea gathered the nobles here, played with them, forced them to love her. 
It was the closest she could get to real happiness since the loss of her mother. When she was done playing, she was going to turn them all into blood fiends. Your perceptions are excellent. She used this veil in two ways. To hide herself, and to overwhelm your senses with illusion. Unlike Locrata, instead of shredding the veil, this time you used the tear to enter Lorea's illusion. With Lorea's death, the power of the veil fades. As soon as it dissipates, the nobles will appear. But now the final confrontation draws near. Gather our forces and meet me at the Shrouded Pass. We must return to the Doom Crag to end this. What? What happened? Will this torment cease? By the eight who did this? What happened to my people? The Rhea Montclair? Yes, she arrived here. She said she was here to help. Then, I can't remember anything else. Is the rest of North Point... Is the city safe? I... I need to get outside. Find my father. I need to make sure that North Point's all right. Of course. Give us a moment to compose ourselves and we'll meet you outside. People, listen to me. Let's head outside and make sure the rest of the city is secure. We'll return for the Fallen later. Right now the living need us more. In the name of High King Emmerich, and in accordance with the laws of the land, I hereby order the arrest of Elec Dorel for treason, and the death of his kinsmen. But father, it wasn't my fault. You allowed an enemy into our city, into our home. Dozens fell to yeah. these monsters because you, you could not go no further unless you face. settle the bounty never for you. meant for anyone to hurt. I'm not even sure what happened. But Rhea said she wanted to help, and... I'm sorry. Apologies won't bring our people back. It won't return honor to our family name. Guards! Take Alec away! You are dead to me, Alec. Dead to me. I'm sorry I disappointed you, Father. It won't happen again. I believe this, but that wasn't how I wanted our reunion to play out. But laws were broken. People died. I can't ignore our laws. Not even to save my son. I left Elec in charge. The safety of North Point was his responsibility. Someone has to answer for the deaths he caused this day. If I was in his position, I would expect the same treatment. Lorea paid, and for that I thank you. But Elec wasn't under a spell when he welcomed her into North Point. That was his choice. I won't leave him here to make the same mistake again. Shrouded Pass? That means Montclair is in the Doom Crack. Then the time has come to strike down the traitor and restore peace to our shores. But first I want to thank you for helping the people of North Point. I won't forget your bravery. It has been a grueling day. Restock and rest. We'll begin the march to the Doom Crag when you're ready. Then the time has come to meet Count Ravenwatch at the base of the Doom Crag. Head for the Shrouded Pass and find Verandis. I'll gather our troops and meet you there. I've explored a few alien ruins in my time. Dangerous places. But you know me. I love dangerous places. 
RK preserve us. I don't relish the idea of climbing that cursed peak. But if that's where Montclair hides, then the Doomcrag is where we must go. So Montclair is at the Doomcrag? Perfect. I always wanted to assault a haunted pinnacle high in the mountains. <laughs> 